One of the qualities on which big companies pay attention is a skill of so-called thinking outside of the box. It is a metaphor that means to think differently, unconventionally, or from a new perspective. What is the first approach that comes to your mind for such puzzles? To analyze these numbers for some kind of algebraic dependence. In this case, thinking outside of the box is linked to seeing not only the mathematical numbers, but also their English names. Let's name them and count how many letters are in each word. Here, you can see a, a clear increase of the numbers of letters. But 10 is not the only number which spelling includes three letters. There are also 1, 2, and 6. The same applies for second number, etc. The second criteria is that the chosen numbers are the largest ones with the corresponding number of letters. Therefore, we need to select the largest number which spelling includes 9 letters. This number is 96. Looks right. However, the number was accepted but considered to be not the best one. Now, knowing the logic, stop the video and think why Google considers this number as not the best option, even though the logic is correct. The largest number is actually one Google, which is 10 to the power of 100 or 70 factorial. This term was introduced by the nephew of US mathematician Edward Kastner, and Kastner later popularized this concept in his book Mathematics and the Imagination, in 1940. The fact of the similar pronunciation of this mathematical term and the name of the IT company is not a coincidence. It was revealed that Google, the name of the company, is an accidental misspelling of the mathematical term by the company's founders. One of the home messages that I personally took from this problem were try to think outside of the box and know your potential employer. As usual, if you like the video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe to the channel, of course, ring a bell not to miss the new videos, and for sure, do not hesitate to share your thoughts and ideas in the comments. In case, for instance, you know any interesting problems that can be presented in the future, then just write it in the comment section. Okay, that was it, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.